hi, yes, hello, and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Ashley, and if you're a returner, welcome back. So today, if you haven't seen the title or read the thumbnail, this is highly requested from both you guys in the YouTubeverse, but also Hubbin. Hubbin has been asking to watch this movie with me forever, and I'm like, I don't really want to watch it because I know it's going to come up on the channel. And we're here today. My shirt, 19, nope, 1776, we the people. Anyways, um, I'm watching Air Force One, number one, highly requested movie. Number two, Fourth of July is in a few days. All right, and you're thinking, Ashley, why didn't you just upload this on July 5th? Well, because Austin Powers. Oh, behave. You see, all right. It makes sense in my head. Anyways, we are watching Air Force One for this American Independence Day. And I'm really excited about it. I hope so many of you are as well. And um, yeah, what do I know about Air Force One? Well, the title Air Force One is after the president's plane. So I'm going to assume, you know, something happens to or with the president. Get off my plane. Um, for those of you who are like, why did she watch this for July 4th? Well, Independence Day is already on the channel. Um, and I've been watching some serious movies, like James Bond, James Bond is funny, but like kind of serious, so I didn't want to watch like a historical piece. This also might be very serious. <laughs> I could be doing myself a mischief by watching this one, but I know so many of you are excited about it. I know Hubbin's gonna be excited that I watched this. Maybe a little annoyed that I watched it without him. <laughs> but regardless, this is what we're watching today. So. If you want to say in what I watch and when I watch it, you can join my Patreon down below. But until then, I hope you like, subscribe, and no more Diddle Daily. Let's go right on into today's Millennial Movie Monday, which is the film Air Force One. Harrison Ford, shut up, I love that man. I love that man. Get into it, Gary Oldman. I don't think I know Gary. Glenn Close! I love Glenn Close. Presidential Palace, Kazakhstan, mm, former Republic of USSR. We got a little covert mission. <coughs> oh. Could you imagine parachuting and shooting a gun at the same time? I gotta be so real with y'all right now. My heart is racing. I'm excited about this movie. Oh man, we're taking down a bunch of people. All right, all right. Y'all had literal seconds to spare. Moscow, three weeks later. It's a pretty building. There's Harrison Ford. Hi. Today, we're honoring this brave man. I'm having a hard time with two voices going on. Friend, the president of the United States of America. Harrison Ford is the president? God bless America. None of us do. What's he doing? Let's speak the truth. That's not the speech. Oh, so he's going off book. How dare we? The dead remember. Ooh, this this is heavy, and they were not expecting this. Those who would use them. Your day is over. Ooh, good job. It's your turn to be afraid. It's your turn to be afraid. <laughs> His counselor's gonna have some stuff to say to him about that little speech. It'd be really cool to see Air Force One like up close and per like in person, you know? I feel like it's a gigantic plane. I don't know anything about planes, so. I mean, it makes sense if you're gonna be on the airplane with the president, you get to go through double checks. Look at that motorcade, that's wild. It's leading the news. They're already calling it the Be Afraid speech. It's a good title. Go sit, Jack. We discussed it in private, which is where I thought it would remain. Oh. There goes the neighborhood. Huh? Don't be awful. I'm very sorry. Hello. 
Oh, Could you imagine? Could you imagine being escorted by Secret Service? I would poop my pants. Harrison Ford is so hot. Face of the earth. We could run the whole country from here. Or even a war. Oh, that's crazy. Changing plan, Danny. Let's go to Barbados. <laughs> I support that plan. Brief me on it. I want to watch it. <laughs> like, he's got a whole office in there? That's crazy. What was that? Oh, it's not so important. Damage what? control. This no, what Wait, hold on. What was that? I'm nervous. He can't be just signing things all willy-nilly. Sound thought about life in the White House? There is no life in the White House. You say. Ooh. Dang. 14, 13, Michigan. Aww. All right, Mr. President. It was spoiled for him. Dang. Oh, oh, girl, don't be acting out. Do not act out. You are the president's daughter. I was the valet. It was great. Oh. Why would you do that? You're gonna get yourself reelected. That's what I keep telling them. <laughs> but nobody agrees with him on that. Welcome. Were the lights supposed to flicker like that when the engine revs? I'm dead. It's not like I don't see it on the news. It's different. Yeah, stuff like that is different on the news. I'm ready for. Maybe I'm not ready. I'm 12 years old. Girl, you ain't ready for nothing. Shut your mouth. Look from your heart. And that's what I heard tonight. I thought she was going to be an awful wife. Turns out she's great. Sorry to interrupt everybody's assembled, sir. Okay, great. We're not worried about that right now. <laughs> Do, do pilots get to push the little thing together? That's cute and fun. What is that? Is that the, what do they call it? The, um, the football? Is it the football? Why are y'all being a little sus? Y'all are being a little sus. Why did I get nervous all of a sudden? What the? Gibbs! Gibbs, you asked about the game, my guy! I've been worried about the wrong people. Frito, the bike. I was worried about the correct people, but they had someone on the inside. Oh, I hate this! I hate every second of this! I have a fear of flying in general anyway! Couldn't imagine hearing machine guns go off on an airplane. Get down! Cover up! Get back! I have I have goosebumps all over. I have goosebumps all over my body. Alice, get back! Daddy! Alice! Oh, oh, that's too close. We had shots fired on board. Uh, Ramson Air Force Base in Germany. Oh, so they're just trying to land as soon as possible. Got it. Makes sense. Makes sense. Boy Scout is headed to the ball. We have a vault on Air Force One. What do we do about the football? It's chained to the dead guy. Get in the pot, sir. Get in. What about my family? Oh. 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 These are shut the door. What are the jets gonna do? How are the jets gonna help? You can't shoot down Air Force One. In the escape pod? What does he escape in? Oh, it's like... Ramstein, this is Air Force... Oh, it's like a, like a, like a, like a astronaut thingy. Yeah, that has a parachute things. Y'all know, words. Give me an update. Madam Vice President, this one... Ah, uh, hey, Glenn. Is everyone here? We're working on it. How the hell did this happen? How the hell did they... That's a great question, girl. You know, I'm kind of like the president at this point. Is his family okay? Open the door! Oh. I have goosebumps all over my body. Is this movie going to make me cry today? I'm stressed. And what happens if we land this aircraft? Is that understood? Oh, it's a little explosion thing. Oh, get the <laughs> what do we do? What do we do? Do we land it? Do we land it? Do we keep it on the ground? Do we go back up? What do we do? Take it off! <gasps> <gasps> no! Now 
done shot both the pilots. I hope y'all know how to fly a plane. Cause you're SOL if not. <laughs> you're gonna run into another airplane? You, mm. I mean, I guess at this point, it's like do the most damage they can, right? I'm gonna throw up. Holy moly! Oh my god. Now they essentially have, not essentially, they have the president's family like kidnapped. They landed a plane and then took it back off. What's your plan? To circle the airport? Airborne scenarios. There are no airborne scenarios. Well, we better start generating them. That's a great point. That's a question of airspeed, wind. Altitude. We need an Air Force One. Can we have an estimate, please, friends? I'm in charge here. Well, I don't know, Walter. It seems to me that they're in charge. Oh, oh, I love a sassy glick close. <laughs> We're headed home. You got the Air Force One back in the air to go back to Russia. <gasps> What's your plans with this plane? <laughs> yeah, I guess it was kind of dumb that y'all took back off. Huh? Crew murdered. The same crew that was cleared to fly on Air Force One. Wow. Fake ID, photo, fingerprints. Could be with a little help from Moscow. How would they get? I was going to say, he scanned the thumbprint, though. Well, it's impossible. Well, there are enough weapons already on board to take Panama, but who has access to it? Secret Service. All compromised nuclear launch codes have been canceled. New codes are active. Oh, God, I forgot about the football. I was still only thinking about the airplane and the guns of the airplane. I forgot about the whole, you know, nuclear weapons thing. <laughs> I did not prepare myself for a stressful movie today. Where is the wife and daughter? Good question. Here's what the coward chose to say. No, he was asking about his family the whole time. Forget it. He will not negotiate. Good job, girl. Bit politics. Oh no! <laughs> So does this mean the in-flight drink and snack service has been delayed or? Oh, we found it. Good, 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 good. Is he in there? Did he take off? Of course he took off! Of course he took off! Shut up! Shut up! No way! Shut up! Oh my God, this is about... Is this about to be the best movie I've ever seen? This is about to be the best movie I've ever seen! Katola. Oh, heck, there's the Air Force One. Just like the lady said that you could like, run the country or start a war in here. <gasps> Gee whiz. President of the United States, to whom am I speaking? Oh, so the whole plane can hear it. So you can stop. Sweating through that silk blouse of yours. Wow, what a butthead. What a butthead. What is the condition of the people on- Some dead, some scared <laughs> less- Classified papers and his baseball glove. W baseball glove? I'll wait for confirmation that General Ladegh has been released. And then what? I will execute a hostage every half- Half an hour? Half every 30 minutes you're gonna kill somebody? And I'll get back his baseball glove and play catch with this guy's balls. <laughs> we need more time. He's a zealot. Tough to negotiate with. All you can do- What? What is it? We found the escape pod. Oh. Oh yeah, this part. The president's not there. Possibility that the president may be dead. Or that the president is still on board and he ain't gonna negotiate with terrorists. He's about to kick some- <laughs> Still be alive in that plane. Let's not forget this president is a medal of honor. Oh, good point by you. His life. The element of surprise is a formidable advantage in combat. Oh, another good point. Pod was designed for a reason, General. He has no right to take chances. Okay, but there's also a chain of command for a reason, Glenn, so calm your tits. Let him do his thing. You need to get a mirror. That way you can look around corners easier. And now we got somebody downstairs. Oh, I'm nervous. <gasps> this 
So he thought the noise was his friend coming up the stairs. The conference room? Where everybody's at? Where all the hostages are? Oh, doesn't it? He'll see this thing through to the last hostage. Or his own death. Oh, MG. 50 people is a small price to pay to stop that from happening. Even if one of- We can also lie about releasing the person, get them to land the plane and be like, psych, and then we get our people and the bad guys are caught. With all respect, Mr. Secretary, we don't need more dramatic- That's what I'm saying, my guy. Oh, creating a diversion by playing the football game louder. Love that. Oh, sneaky! What is beeping? What is beeping? Oh, I forget watches. We'll do that. Where's the plan? Oh, smart! Don't be in the seat that's turned around. I'll see what you did. Choke him out before somebody hears y'all wrestling! The stool was also an option. I was gonna say, you need to get all the things. You need to get his bulletproof vest, duh! He's gonna open that door and Gibbs is gonna be in there and he doesn't know that Gibbs is also a bad guy. Oh, shite, now they're all alerted, what do we do? Go back into hiding, go back into hiding, go back into hiding. Oh my goodness, this movie's gonna make me throw up. I'm so nervous. But all the doors are closed, so which one is he in? Well, that's one solution. You can shoot up all of them. even know what little door he just came out of i don't even know where he went oh where they keep all the snacks and stuff so he went like un like in the belly of the plane i guess no mr president i cannot then there is nothing i can wow work hey i'm happy that she got to try her idea first you know what i mean all right I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do, and I'm just nervous. You. Both. Come on. The wife and the daughter? <laughs> ah! Ah! Okay. All right. Hey, they'll go with you. It's okay. We're fine. More time. Oh, my! Great googly googly! Your national security advisor has just been executed. Oh. If you please, come with me. I don't want them to do that. I do not want them to go with you. Time you ever seen a man killed, huh? Leave her alone. Oh, don't be gross. Don't be gross. I am somebody's son, too. Why are you killing people? For Mother Russia. Wow, that's crazy. Bomb. You are. Oh, girl, be careful, be careful, be careful. You're nothing like my father. Boom, roasted. She gonna need a lot of therapy after this. It's a goddamn oh, I haven't memorized a number in some years, Mr. President, so you're fine. There's a connect fee of one dollar, sir. Fine. <laughs> could you imagine? <laughs> And he could be like, I'm the president of the United States. It should be like, yeah, and I'm the queen of Sheba. <laughs> oh, I'm so nervous. This has me making really bad jokes. All right. All right. We're fine. The president. Connect me to the vice president, please. Who did you say is called? Hmm. This is the president. Yeah, right. And I'm the president. <laughs> you want to make a federal case out of this? Find my knee. Oh, girl, I hope you get fired. And I hope you feel bad. Look. Is there anyone there? Don't move. Someone claiming to be the president. She traced it back to the White House satellite account. Yeah. I'm the president of the United States. Yes! Hell yeah, you are! God. Is he saying what? Fire at Air Force One! Has issued a direct order. Do it! I 
have goosebumps from the hair on my head to my toe hairs. I am, this is crazy. I've just been ordered to fire on Air Force One. O-M-G! Charge my media! Nice, 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 nice. It's doing exactly what he said it would. What does that mean? What's a shaft? Whoa! A counter bomb thing? Like a counter explosion? Nice. Nice. Oh hell yeah. There you go. There you go. There you go. Oh, 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 broke his neck. Broke his neck. Broke his neck. Broke his neck. This is Marshall. Anyone there? Holy, 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 holy. Options. We're working on that, Mr. President, but the bastards do have us in a corner. Will they have you in the air? Jim, they shot Jack Dougherty. The security guy? It won't end there. And if you die in that plane, does it end there? Oh. If you give a mouse a cookie. Oh, that's a good book. He's gonna want a glass of milk. Have you read the book that's if you give a moose a muffin? Oh, you think locking that little door is gonna keep him down there? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. No, sir. Is our answer in the refrigerator? We're not gonna slowly leak fuel, are we? We're gonna leak a little bit of fuel. That's what we're gonna do. Go. Who is this lady? It's like his press secretary? I mean, she was the one that guided them on the plane and like gave them a little tour or whatever. So is that chief of staff maybe? I don't know. Okay. I guess. <laughs> I try to be nice. <laughs> I don't know how that's working out for me in this moment. Why are you afraid? There's a gun. I will count to 10. Funny that you think he's Secret Service. That's a president. Four. I beg you, please. Five. Let me talk. Oh, and it's a trap to come up. To come up and he'll get shot. No. Oh, MG. <laughs> that guy looks familiar. That guy, lo he's been in other things. <laughs> You either do it when they say to, or you don't get a chance to. Well, I can't wait to see what we do with the butter knife. Now what you're thinking, first lady. You want yeah, yeah, a lot of people do. We have no idea, sir. Melanie was shot die. because one of your men wouldn't show himself. I want to know. Oh, and they still don't know he's a double agent. I'm afraid it might be me. I mean, makes sense. There's a select number of people on the plane. Any of you could be next. There's no switch, Mr. President, so you'll have to cross the wires. Don't Open cross the streams. Green, yellow, red, white, and blue. Amen. Sir, if you get the wrong wire, you'll cut the engine feeds and the plane will crash. Oh. Uh. <laughs> oh, I'm so scared. With the, with the what? Hello? This is, this is the worst time to get static. Low battery? Oh, this is awful. Every time I think to myself, what more could go wrong? There's always something. Counting on your red, white, and blue. God bless America! <sighs> All right, so we're losing some fuel. That's great. Instead of making them land faster, it's just gonna ask them to kill people faster. Hey, got one. Kinda. No, you know, I was just kind of thinking to myself, how many bullets do those guns hold? I don't know. Ooh, good trap. Get him. Get him. Hostages. This 
is bullshit. It's simple physics. No fuel, no fly. Until the plane crash, our refueling plane arrived. A hostage a minute now? <laughs> Where'd that guy that he let come downstairs? Oh, good job. Good job, big smart. Jesus, what are you doing here? Not them being like, what are you doing here? Kids. No! 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 Oh, gee, will a curse. Everything is bad. Sir, there may be a way to get these people off the plane. Parachutes. No. Voice lines and faxes are on two different systems of encryption. Look at, look at fax machines coming in handy. 200 knots, otherwise it's suicide. At this point, most options seem like suicide. We gave a gun to Gibbs and nobody knows he's a double agent. I'm freaking out about that. Freaking out. It makes me so proud, Mr. President, that you stuck with us. We could talk about this later, girl. Um, go fax, go. Ah! <laughs> I've never put so much faith in a fax machine before. Oh my God, can somebody check the fax machine? Yes, of course. Good, then that settles it. It doesn't settle it at all. What? It exists if a majority of the cabinet, including yourself, says it exists. What? What are we saying here? Unconfirmed reports that Air Force One has crashed. Crashed? Where'd y'all get that information? What? Yes, oh, and I guess these people in this little back cone area have, have, have no way of knowing how high they are. They don't know. They're just hoping for the best. They're hoping somebody got a fax! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I have a statement. I'm so stressed. On has been hijacked. I'm not gonna say that's the best statement you could have issued, but okay. I'd like to ask all Americans to pray. To pray for this. Call it. And I guess that makes him aware that the president is on board. What else is going wrong now? There are so many things happening. But did they check the fax machine? This is the lollipop, your reserve chute. Pull it down. Clear? No, no, no. It's not clear. It's actually very stressful. Whoa, and a fuel tanker is like that much bigger than an Air Force One? I want to see some of these things in person. I want to see how big it is. That's what she said. Oh, they have a little altitude counter in the back. I didn't realize that. Drop to 15,000 feet and slow to 200 knots. They got the message. They got the message. They got the message. Almost there. I don't think I'm breathing during some of these parts. I just realized I saw myself in the viewfinder and I look so serious. Go, go. Go. I could not imagine a civilian jumping out of the back of an airplane. But then again, I guess that's that's just skydiving, isn't it? I guess. So never mind. I guess I can't see that. Oh, I would throw up. I would vomit everywhere. Okay, but what happens if they just parachuted out over like the middle of the ocean? Man, they are really good at these like little explosions, aren't they? Oh, oh there's people falling out the neck of Oh my god, it's Harrison Ford! He ain't got a parachute. Oh, that that guy did not have a parachute. He's dead. Bye. And so now we're just dumping all of this fuel everywhere. Oh yeah, this is going great. This is going excellent. That plane's gonna explode! Holy shit. As somebody who loves explosions, that was probably the most stressful explosion I have ever witnessed. I got you. 
Boo, Gibbs. They're counting 32 survivors. That means they still have hostages. What about that or people died jumping out? To violate our airspace, I will execute a member of the first family. Oh, no. Tell our fighters to back off. Why can't we hit them with another missile? Shake them up a little bit again before they get to the sovereign airspace. See who else would. You just really want to be in charge, don't you? He just really wants to be in charge. <laughs> could you, oh, could you imagine, oh, imagine manhandling Harrison Ford like that? You've been very busy downstairs. Yeah, yep, have been. No! You don't want to do this. That's your only bargaining power, my guy. What you do in the White House? You play God. Oh. <laughs> Piece of glass? Piece of glass? I don't know. I don't know what we do. This is very curious. Stop with your Why? <laughs> the glass to cut the duct tape, right? You'd be playing right into his hands. Are you an idiot? Oh, not not the great question. Not a great question, President. You have taken everything from us. I don't know how we fix this. No. No. We have guns pointed at every member in this airplane, including your family. I don't know what we do right now. You know. I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry. I want to throw up. I am so stressed. I have the signatures of the majority of the cabinet attesting to the president's incapacity. Oh my god, this guy. Negotiate with terrorists. It's been our bedrock principle for 25 years. He has a plan. He has a plan. He's not negotiating. He's just buying himself some time. History will judge you by what you do right now, Catherine. For God's sakes. Okay, that was a good point by him. He's making this decision as a husband and a father, not a president. And I'm just, oh, stressed. No. Good job, Catherine. I think, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we're letting him out. I repeat, General Raddock is now being released. Okay, now call Air Force One. Call Air Force One, get them to land the plane, keep this man in custody, like take as long as it needs to, get those other bad guys off the plane, get them in custody. Right? It's that easy, right? Turn to our homeland. My brother will decide how best to you. What? Now that we know you are willing to negotiate. OMG! So many things. You said you were gonna release us. Forgive me. Yeah, you gonna trust a terrorist? Okay. <laughs> That looks like Brushy Mountain State Penitentiary. Wow, to see this like national anthem playing over Air Force One is crazy. So we, we, we got one guy holding a gun to the family's head. We got the one guy who's like in charge of everything. We got Gibbs who's double crossed. Are there any other people holding guns right now? Oh, and that guy. Okay, so four people. Nice, nice. One down, three to go. Ah, Jim. Ah! Wow, good job. Ah! Now I need the wife to grab that gun and do something. Ah! I need you to go hide. I need you to go hide. <laughs> Does that mean Gibbs is gonna be like the last one standing? I'm so double agents piss me off so much. He's gonna jump with the wife. Oh my god, just shoot his Drop the gun! He's either gonna shoot her or jump off with her. No one left to fly the plane. Except the president. He's he's flown things before. And I win. 
Good job. Good job, Grace. Now, do you know how to shoot one of those, Grace? That's my next question. You may have a gun, but do you know how to use it? We're gonna hang him from the back of Air Force One! We're gonna hang him from the back of Air Force One! Get off my plane. Yes! Okay, we still got, yeah, how does it feel? Womp womp, big L. Okay, we gotta get back to the cockpit. We gotta make sure the daughter's okay. We got a lot of things we gotta do. Make the call faster! Make the call faster so we can arrest him again! Yep, 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 yep! Shut the gates! Oh, he, okay, oh! He won't serve time, but he's dead. But he's dead! Retaking the plane! But we still have Gibbs on board who is a double agent. That was a cool shot, that whole 360 spin of everybody celebrating, that's fun. Little planes, never jets. You're just like riding a bicycle, right? If you can ride a bicycle, you can ride a tricycle, you can ride a four, you know what I mean? So maybe tomato, tomato. Returning, Bob. Right. I didn't realize you turned a plane with a knob. I thought it was the little serum. Autopilot, so we're gonna need to go over a few things. First, let's- Uh, first, there's a double agent on board! Insulate turkey. I mean, they don't know that. They don't know that. But it makes me nervous. Madam Vice President, that red dot represents MiGs. What's a MiGs? The base commander there is loyal to Raddick. We have more planes coming to shoot at Air Force One. Is that what I'm understanding? Position, I'm sending in our F-15s to protect you. <laughs> That's what I said. Yeah, she said. What's a MiGs? Oh, I'm having trouble here. I gotta look up what a MIGS is. Push the button on the yoke by your left thumb. Try a little. MIGS pizza? I don't even know what that is. Just like riding a bike. We are cleared to commit very- Okay. Long story short, bad airplane. <laughs> it had some big words in it that I didn't know how to pronounce. So MIGS, not good job. Use one of those little things you shot earlier that made an explosion, the little heat thingy. Yeah, like that, like that, like that. Ah. Okay, but that's one engine out of four. We're okay, right? Okay, I got it, I got it. Oh, it, the fire handle puts out the fires? Pretty rock a bandit. Stand by for max range. I do not understand how there are humans that like will can do this and they're not freaking out. How are how do y'all keep your emotions in check? Cause it ain't me. Nice, got him. Got two. Get him off my tail. I was gonna say it's not like Air Force One can just go up fast. Oh, wow. Wow. That's a huge thing. Wow. I have chill bumps again. <laughs> we <laughs> do a little barrel roll. <laughs> Bobby. <sighs> okay, that extra a little bit of excitement's over. Still worried about Gibbs. Hit. With the damage, there's no way they can land. So what do we do? Straight and steady until we figure out what to do. Sir. Straight and steady to what? We crash land? Yeah, why? I just had a wild eye. Hit me with it. At this point, anything is better than nothing. They'll be rejoining from the south in about 25 minutes. Do we have 25 minutes? It'll be okay. Everything's gonna work. Okay, girl, whatever you say. You said you wanted to be a part of the action earlier. You, you thought you wanted to be at refugee camps. No, baby girl, you in a hostile Air Force One takeover. What a big day for a 12 year old. Anybody, really. Unlandable. Sources report that the first family is still trapped on. I like his voice. 
Get the door. Yes, we need 10,000 feet, 200 knots. I don't know. Something else is going to happen with Gibbs. It has to be. Something has to happen with Gibbs. First man is on his way. Back up. Easy. So they're going to go in and grab and then zip line back up to this plane? Are you kidding? Is Gibbs going to act out? Is Gibbs going to act out right now? Up in the cockpit! Gibbs is going to do something! Gibbs is going to do something. I've said it once, I said it twice, and I probably said it more than thrice. I am so stressed, I feel like I'm gonna throw up. You'll be alright, honey. Promise? He can't promise that. Hold on tight! It's okay, don't worry. I'm worried. You know, if it wasn't a life or death situation, that might actually be a little fun. Ow. He's gonna act up at the last minute and I'm so scared. One, you're sinking too fast. We only have time for one more retrieval. One more retrieval? Go off this plane. Go, sir, go. Oh, I? Oh, heavens. Please, go. <laughs> Holy shit, I told y'all Gibbs was gonna act up. I told y'all Gibbs was gonna be crazy. It was you. No, it was the other Secret Service person holding the gun. Get off this plane! Yeah, you are. It'll be a suicide mission, but you'll get off the plane. <laughs> go, go! Go, go! Hurry, please! Jesus Christ! 500! Go, 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 go! Well... <laughs> It ain't graceful, but it's done. <laughs> Bye, Gibbs. Bye, Gibbs. <laughs> I hope it hurts, and I hope you're just scared. <laughs> wow, Air Force One doing a cartwheel. Are you kidding me? Air Force One is down. Oh. I repeat, Air Force One is down. Once again, covered in absolute goosebumps. <laughs> Shift your weight around. What does that even mean? He <laughs> shift your weight around. How? We got him! Ooh -wee. Oh, I'm covered in goosebumps yet again. Wow! 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 President, welcome aboard, sir. It's okay if you need to throw up. You could throw up. It's okay. <laughs> Catherine, aren't you so happy you didn't sign that? Rip it up, girl! Wow. I gotta see who Gary Oldman was. Gary Oldman was the main bad guy? All right. All right, y'all. We, <laughs> we have got to talk about this. <laughs> I... I need to take some deep breaths after that one. Y'all told me, y'all have been telling me that I would love this movie. And you know, I've just never put it up on a poll. That's another thing, 4th of July was not put up on a poll. Um, and at first I thought about watching Full Metal Jacket, but then I was talking about it on Twitch and somebody suggested Air Force One. And I was like, hell yeah, America. And now we're here. And when I tell you that I'm gonna give this movie 20 out of 10 stars, 20 out of 10 stars? This movie was so good. It was so good. I want to cry. It was so good. Wow. We know we love Harrison Ford. We love Harrison Ford on this channel. I love that man. I would die for that man. I would vote for that man for president. I love Glenn Close. She's great. She's great. She's great. She's great. Oh my God. This whole movie took place in one spot in airplane. You know, I, so now in typical me fashion, now I want to look up all the behind the scenes. Like how many of these things were shot like in one take? Cause there was that scene, it was early on in the movie. They had already hijacked the plane. And I think it was filmed in one scene where like he comes down from where he hid, like all um, filmed in like one take where he comes from down the escape pod place and then he comes out and like goes down. Anyways, 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 this movie, amazing. Amazing. Gibbs. 
Double agent? Y'all know double agent things just get me, man. Just get me. Air Force One, 20 out of 10 stars. I would watch it again tomorrow. I would watch it again tonight. I would watch it again the next day. Then I'd probably have to take a little break. And then I'd watch it again. Like, this movie was so good and I hate that it took me 30 years to get to it. This movie, amazing film. 20 out of 10 stars for Air Force One. I hope you like, subscribe, and stick around. And let me tell you what's coming up on Fridays for July. We got Austin Powers on the way. We also have Marvel for TV series. We are going through What If, all right? And as far as I know, on Mondays, we have a tribute to Donald Sutherland happening next Monday. It's a pull up on Patreon right now, so I don't know what's going to win. MASH and Invasion of the Body Snatchers were tied the last time I looked, so I don't know. And then we got um, a poll winner, the original Hairspray from 1988 coming up as well. So other than that, there's going to be polls that have to be decided. So if you want to say on what I watch and when I watch it, you can join over there on Patreon to vote in polls and all that good jazz. And then while you're in the description box, if you want to be my friend outside of the YouTubeverse, uh, links to my social media as well. So I hope you like, subscribe, stick around, take your meds, love you, bye!